Hey there guys, I hope everything's great. This is Maham and today we are talking about how manually updating API documentation is a hassle. Let me show you what I mean. I have published a demo portal for this video and I'm using Telstra's messaging API. Let's say I have to add another parameter to this endpoint. I'll have to go and manually update the docs in all the languages. After the new docs have been published, I realize that now I need to add in another endpoint as well. So I'll have to go through the painful process of manually updating docs in all the languages again. Now what if I tell you that instead of wasting your time and precious resources this way, this whole process can be automated for you. Yep, it's possible. By integrating your CI-CD pipeline with APImatic's Codegen API so that each time your API description changes, your API documentation is automatically updated and published for you. So how can you get your hands on this magic? Let me show you. Here's the basic flow that I'll be following. I'll change my API description and push changes to GitHub, which in turn will trigger a build on Travis. My Travis configuration file will call APImatic's Codegen API, resulting in my portal being published with the updates. Here I have my CI CD pipeline all configured. The tool I'm using is Travis, but you can use any other tool you want. Now there's multiple ways of integrating your pipeline with our API, but I'm just going to show you one way of doing it. In this demo, I'm using Newman to call endpoints in a Postman collection. I've extracted out the two endpoints that I need from the API and saved them in a Postman collection file. When the build is triggered, Travis will first install Node and then call Newman's run method. And that's it. Let's take a look at the API we'll be calling. Please note that the API uses token-based authentication, so you'll have to get a token first. Now all I have to do is call two endpoints in the Travis file. Here's the first one. You have to call this to update your API description file on our servers. And this is the second one. Call it to publish the updated version of your portal. Now let's make some changes in the API description. I need to add a new parameter to this endpoint. I also have to add another endpoint to the API. Alright, that's done. I'll simply push my changes. That triggers a build on Travis. And the build passed. Now let's look at the published portal again. You can see here, the new parameter that I added is automatically added to the documentation in all the languages. The new endpoint has also been added to the API reference along with example values for its parameters. In this case, my response type is a custom type, so I can see the model reference for it as well. I'll click on the name of the custom type and it shows me information about all the fields as well as their example values. By the way, the automatically generated test cases that ship with your SDKs can also be configured to run automatically with every API update. And that's all there is to it. Please like the video if you found the content interesting and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. And leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Cheers!